Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Um, down the handle tonight, we're fishing a match. Uh, it's going to be something cool, something different for, for the for the channels. Um, don't think there's much sort of match footage going up. It's not a serious match. It's um, part of the uh, Stamshaw Lake Angling Club uh, that I belong to, uh, where my boat's moored. Um, so it's just a couple of the club guys you know, every once a month get down and sort of have a fish uh, somewhere. This is actually my first match uh, for the club. Um, I've fished other matches, SLOs, uh, Locks Up Attack League, uh, Alice Marine League, all those sort of things. So I have a bit of experience, but I'm by no means a match fisherman. It's uh, best I go to first and foremost sort of thing. But I do enjoy the odd match here and there. Sorry about the wind noise, I can't put my up. There's no way to put it. So, yeah, uh, Hamble, up near Southampton. Um, literally tonight, I've fished, this is the third time I've fished this area, so I don't know very well. But luckily I know a few people that do. Cheers boys, you know who you are. Um, so I literally bucket a crab and that's it. Smooth out bass, that's, that's what I'll be targeting. But yeah, I'll start rigging up, getting ready. What have we got? <laughs> Whoops, 10 minutes until the match starts, so I better get my rigs ready, get my bait ready. Um, I'll do that and then I'll show you how I'm rigging it up for the smooth ounce. Let me crack on and uh, catch up in a bit. are instantly covered in weed which is going to be an issue if that's the case right, so. other crabs have been at this so I suppose it's a good sign right, where's my clip? nice easy way to get everything off majority of it. already got another rig re ready um, it's called double pattern for those that don't know if you're an experienced match angler or you know what you're talking about or you've been fishing for a while skip um, so for anyone that wants to get into match, match fishing it's called double pattern so basically what you're doing is you, you're having a series of rigs pre-made pre-baited ready to rock and roll because the key thing about match fishing is speed so you want bait in the water for as long as possible as much as possible so you reel in your fish or your empty trace, you unclip it, you clip on your new trace that's already pre-baited and got its lead weight, and bang, it's out. So minimal time out the water. Um, got to keep baiting the water. Um, I generally start off for 20 minutes for the first cast. Bring that in. Uh, if there's nothing left on the on the hook, then I will. Um, drop it down a little bit, I'll drop it down by 5 minutes, so then I'll go 15 minutes again. If there's no bait left on the hook, I'll drop it down the next cast down to 10 minutes until I find that um, happy ground where there's still bait on there, but there, there's enough on there still to attract the fish at that 10, 10 minute mark, but it's probably been washed out enough, so it's time to get a new bait in there. We're a heavy, strong wind, so the lead's going up and then it's just being killed by the wind, so, and then it's sort of drifting down. six ounces at the moment. I've got some sevens with me. Um, thanks to my mate Dean Chester. So, uh, I might slap those on 
to see if I can help me punch through the window a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so bucket full of crab. We beautifully went. went and got those over the last couple of days. Uh, they are, some of them are quite small, so but sort of that sort of size. I will just use one. Um, I find you, if, the, if the, the hounds are here and they're feeding, they're gonna, they literally will smash up everything. So if there's the only the odd one or two hounds around, then I will go with the bigger baits, but generally sort of that size bait is, I find is okay. Other people will say otherwise, and that's fine. That, that's how they fish, and that's all good. That one didn't make it. You know, they're, they're no good if the, the lungs there are black. Don't even waste your time using that. So he's been out for too long. So I will pop the shell off. I'll stab him straight in between the eyes. Kills him. And then I'll get me rig. Then just the uh, 3 0 Sakuma uh, Chinus. Absolutely love these. Perfect for crab. Sit on there perfectly. Um, like I said earlier, I am using the panel, which I wouldn't normally use for hounds, but again, they're just two small chinu hoods. So it's a 3 0 and then a 1 0 chinu there, and that's purely because, like I said, if I hook one in a match situation, I want to make sure that it's hooked. So for the crab, I don't over peel it, I don't think you need to. Um, as long as the back's off, you're good to go, and then I just Lick it through the, the shell or the, the soft bit, come out one of the leg sockets so it sits on there like that. The elastic, get that on there. The legs and claws I will put up the line like so and then just work them up the line. I like to have my hooks pointing the other way. You've seen me when I played out my sandals before. And that just will pop that through the legs and the elastic that's up there. Come on. And there you go. Great little smooth arm bait. Perfect. I'm just going to go tighten up my ratchet. Hopefully, we see some fish. Seems to be a bit of a theme with me in fishing lately. Hour and a half gone and zero fish. Sorry, zero fish. Nada. Uh, only saving graces, no one else has had anything. So, weed seized off us a touch, but it's still rubbish. Um, so, I'm hoping as soon as the sun goes down properly, the tide's still got quite a bit to come in. Um, it's really shallow out here. This is a um, handle spit. So this goes all the way out. I don't know how whether you'll make it out on the camera, but just as it goes dark, that's where the channel is. I'm getting just to that edge of it, but the wind is making casting super difficult and really cutting down a lot of the distance. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping the light, as soon as the light drops, Bit more water, bit more tide, we'll hopefully get, well, a bit more fish, so catch up in a bit. Well guys, it's now 10 to 12 and I've just got my first bite, my first fish. Absolutely freaking horrendous weed. As you can hopefully see from the tip. I think it's a hound. Not a very big one. But it's a fish. Get in. Come on. Fighting the wanting this awful. Right now the fun bit, trying to get it up. Uh, yes, boy! Oh, oh, was it you, 
keep sitting. I thought there's someone there. Oh, come on. I'll give you under for that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sorry, I've done in my pen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought you did that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Whew. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sorry about that, the camera just died on me for whatever reason, I didn't even realise. Um, the last clip, yeah, I was walking back to the weigh-in. Um, I knew I had only had one fish in that section that I was, so I was, I was sort of hoping I'd done all right. Uh, got back to the weigh-in, one other fish caught a 40 odd centimetre little eel, I think it was. And that was it, so that smooth down just shows you perseverance right the way up to the last second can make all the difference between winning and losing. If I just packed up at sort of half 10 or whatever it was, saying I stuff it, the weed's bad, there's no fish here, gone home, uh, I wouldn't have got a result. And the result was I won. Uh, one overall length and uh, heaviest, sorry not heaviest, uh, longest fish. So I bagged myself 80 quid. Happy days. So uh, yeah, got back in the car and yeah, it was quite fun sort of filming what I filmed sort of match wise so yeah i'll do a couple more matches uh get some more content up and if you guys are liking what you're seeing um i'm going to be putting up lots more content going fishing more like i said in the previous video so if you like what you're seeing you want to see more hit that like hit that subscribe and i'll keep tracking up what i'm tracking up uh cheers see you later